Terracotta Cleaning Seven Oaks, Kent. By Abbey Floor Care. A customer in Seven Oaks, Kent, contacted me for help with the restoration of their terracotta floor. The owners of the property were keen to restore the terracotta finish and asked for my advice on a renovation. After discussing the various restoration options, we agreed on the most suitable option and agreed on a start date. After I finished, my customer was delighted, commenting, they're so lovely I don't want to walk on them. A visiting contractor used to do floors and commented on the good job you've done. Thank you again for your hours of hard work. It was a pleasure having you here. Confirming the existing terracotta sealer. Older terracotta can be sealed with a variety of treatments, including waxes, water-based sealers, solvent-based sealers, paint etc. Looking at the sealer, I could see it was not a wax sealer. With my experience, it looked to me like a water-based, surface sealer. This was confirmed, when my client showed me a container of the original sealer. I could also see that there was a heavy build-up, of old sealer. So I chatted with my client, to understand how this had happened. My client explained that, over the years, they regularly polished the floor. To restore the shine. They did not realize, they were actually applying new layers, of neat sealer. On top of the original finish, applying layer upon layer. Before applying new layers of sealer. A floor should be deep cleaned and the old sealer removed. They did not understand, the need to remove the old sealer. In some areas, especially in the grout, the sealer was over 1 mm thick. I find this to be an all too common issue, with terracotta in the UK. I have a few specialist sealer removal treatments. I tested each one, to see which gave the best results, in the shortest time. Each worked well, however, the sealer coat was very thick. I had originally estimated, 2-3 to three days to remove the old sealer. But, my test showed, it would take me much longer. Thankfully, my client understood the situation. Terracotta cleaning. Remove the existing sealer. I applied the terracotta sealer remover, to workable sections of the floor. And left the chemical to soften the sealer. During this time, I kept an eye on the chemical to make sure it did not dry. After 20 minutes, I used a combination of hand scraping, and machine scrubbing, with brushes and pads. I needed to use brushes and pads, because the surface of the tiles was not smooth. Some tiles also had animal footprints, and the grout was quite deep. So scrubbing pads alone would not reach the deep grout. After scrubbing, I rinsed the area and removed the slurry with a powerful wet vacuum. In some areas, I had to repeat the process five times, to remove the old sealer. Eventually, I used over 70 liters of sealer remover on the floors. Removing terracotta sealer, from corners and edges. I removed the sealer from corners, edges and around static furniture, by hand. Using scrapers, scrubbing brushes and scrubbing pads. Removing terracotta sealer, from deep grout. The scrubbing machine did not remove all the old sealer from the grout. So I had to use a combination of hand brushes. And scrapers, to remove old sealer from the grout. In the time available, I managed to remove most of the sealer from the grout. However, there was some old sealer left in areas of deep set grout. Allowing the terracotta to dry. I had used a lot of cleaning, and rinse water, during the cleaning process. So it was important, to get the terracotta dry, before applying a new sealer. During the cleaning, I used air movers, to help the terracotta to dry. Once I had fully removed the old sealer, I left the floor to dry, for a further two days. During this time, the air movers were working, to help to dry the floors. Terracotta sealing. Originally, I had planned to seal the floor, with a water-based surface sealer. To replicate the original finish. However, during my time with the client, I could see this was not an ideal solution, because. The household pets had free access from the garden onto the floor. The area was used well used. My client was looking for minimum maintenance. Once my clients understood the correct maintenance needs of a surface sealer, they could not meet the maintenance needs of stripping and resealing every two to four years. So I suggested an alternative sealing solution that makes the tiles more durable, is more hard wearing than a water-based surface sealer, is easier to maintain than a water-based surface sealer, lasts much longer than a water-based surface sealer, is more costly to purchase and apply applying the sealer to the terracotta. 
One coat of sealer created a durable, spill-resistant finish. A water test demonstrated the desired level of protection against spills. After 20 minutes, a sample spill of water had not penetrated the stone. On removing the water, there was no evidence of water absorption. However, the finish was matte, and my client preferred a mid-sheen finish. So, applied two more coats to achieve the finish my client was looking for. As you can see, my client was delighted with the results. If you need help with your terracotta floor, or would like to find out more about my service, please visit my website, Abbey Floor Care, or drop me a line at 0800 695 0180. I will be happy to help thank you, Abbey Floor Care.